Good evening. Hope everyone's doing all right today. It's a nice day outside and I've been kind of contemplating how I would want to work on the yard this year. Um, I've been told many a times by friends and just people that I talk to that I should really be posting more things on YouTube because I think people need other people to show them that the way they want to live their life is okay. Um, it's become like taboo to have normal like thoughts about things and there's a lot of things on the internet that just try to make you feel like you need to be a certain way, you need to act a certain way, you need to look this way, like everyone needs to look like Kim Kardashian, which I never really understood. I, don't, I haven't understood the whole idea of treating celebrities like idols, like it's just never something that's been interesting to me. Do I enjoy entertainment as much as the next person? Sure. Do I chase people down to concerts and watch every little thing about them? Definitely not. Um, but I think something that's really been holding me back from doing this is that so many people make it seem like you need to be at the end goal in order to <clears throat> be worthy of doing something. Like, um, you know, you need to have this perfect aesthetic and have, in order to have a ton of followers and be influ influential online, which is also weird to me that, like, people that post online have been called influencers. Like, I don't like that term. It feels really gross to me to think about. <laughs> Just, but I don't think that that's something that people are taking like, they're taking it too lightly when they should be more concerned about how they look to other people and the the way that you're teaching other people to be, especially young kids. Because, you know, the way we really learn things is from our environment, our parents, our, the people who are around us really do shape and mold who and what we become. So... I spent a lot of this past year alone because I have much different ideas than a lot of the people around me and that's perfectly okay as long as people aren't going to shove their ideas on me. I'm not shoving mine on you. We're cool. Like, you do your thing, I'll do mine. But, um, yeah, I just, I haven't felt like I'm good enough to be doing this. And that's just me being raw and real. Whatever. If you don't like it, that's on you. Um, but I guess I kind of wanted to just be up front. And I'm going to be really, again, vulnerable in this situation. Because this makes me feel gross. Uh, which is why I'm going to finally be doing something about it. I have had the idea of really going back to the kind of the gardens that I grew up being in when I was a kid. My, both my grandmothers, my mom, like they've always had gardens and at least grown a little bit of vegetables. And my father's family had many fruit trees and things in the backyard um, growing up. <clears throat> and they kept chickens and whatnot, which I would like to get to at some point, but unfortunately where we are, <laughs> It's not really suited for chickens, so, um, but I want to show you guys the beginning, not the end. So that's why I'm going to be totally upfront with everything that's here and have you guys be a part of the alchemical process, the turning the lead into gold, because I've spent too much time focused on everything that this is not instead of appreciating all that it is. So I'm trying to shift my focus more to how blessed am I to have this to work with and not 
being resentful for what it is. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you. It sounded good to me. <laughs> um, so this is the backyard. I don't know if I can even flip this camera. Oh, maybe I can't. Okay, well, I can kind of show you. See, there's just junk everywhere. My dad's always been kind of a pack rat because he's just always sees something good with every little thing and doesn't think that all that needs to be thrown away, which is a good quality, but sometimes things get a little out of hand. <laughs> like there is a jacuzzi tub back here, which he got and never used. He wants to turn it into like a fish pond at some point, but still here. Um, this giant pile of rocks was two giant piles of rocks last week, and I slowly moved everything over because I'm just going through everything. And for me, the easiest way to clean things is to sort them into piles of things that are similar. Like this is all kinds of tarps and some things I need to go through and just throw away. A lot of this stuff over here is either going to get moved or thrown away. But as you can see, it's pretty desolate land over here. And then the middle is where we actually do grow some pretty nice plants come in there, but it's not what I want it to be. And then all along the fence over there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, normally <clears throat> there will be plants in that area as well, but <sighs> it's a lot when you look at it all and you tend to get overwhelmed if you don't take it a little at a time. And that is some advice that I received from both of my grandmothers. I still continue to receive from one. Another one passed last year. Um, I miss her very, very dearly. She's the one that had all the nice, lovely gardens with the fruit and chickens and everything. And I just feel like I need to continue with what they were doing back then. It just, that's what feels right to me. And I get that that's not everybody and you have to do what feels right to you. Everybody has kind of a calling where their soul just really wants them to go. And it took me a really long time of trying a great many things to finally figure out where I want to land. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think a lot of people older than me never figure it out and I'm not judging anyone who is in that position just like I don't want to be judged for it and like I still live with my father this is his house um, many people in society think that there's something weird or wrong about that but for me it makes the most sense because I feel safe here I never got to really live with my dad as a kid because my parents got divorced when I was young. So it's really helping me to know my dad and appreciate him for who he is and not make up stories from childhood that I don't want to carry along with me anymore. And, you know, I have the opportunity to turn our backyard into something beautiful that can be for years to come and I know that once I start a good amount of things that are just going to thrive on their own it's gonna be my own little Eden area or uh, I really love the movie The Secret Garden as a kid it just really stuck with me I used to watch it with my Nona who is who passed um, and it was like the weird Hallmark version too, not like the the one that everybody's used to watching. So it was kind of an odd version and I didn't know that until I got older, but so this is the beginning steps and I'm not feeling bad about where I am. It's not perfect. It's probably never going to be. So I'm just deciding to go with the flow and focus my attention more on appreciation and 
what I have been given instead of what I'm lacking. So I know this is kind of a weird message, but I hope it helps somebody. I wish that I had somebody telling me more of this and showing me this from the beginning. So I hope it helps you too, to go after whatever it is you're dreaming of doing. Just take the little steps in between. Because I know that I'm always, a, I've been a, a wicked perfectionist for a very long time. And it doesn't really do you any good to be at the end result without really doing the steps in between. Because the foundational steps are very important. It's not just about the end result. And I know that's hard for a lot of us millennials and younger in this instant gratification world. Um, but... That's what I really appreciate about gardening, and that it's constantly changing. There's always something new to look forward to, and it's connecting me more to how I think that we were really meant to live. So, looking forward to sharing the gardening journey and experience with you all. I hope you have a great night. Do something that makes your heart and soul sing please today and please be kind to others because this world is cruel enough on us all that we should be kind to one another no matter what people's ideals are we can find something to agree on and something to drive with so thank you to those of you who listened i hope you all have a great night if you like this message share it with somebody or feel free to like or subscribe. Shoot me a comment if you have questions or just anything you want to talk about. Have a good night, everybody. Take care.